probably would say that that's probably our most complete game of the season. Uh, I think we, we, we've had some games that we've played well. Uh, we've had some games that we've lost and, and we've played well, but I, I thought that was on both ends of it. I thought our, our defense was fantastic. Um, our, our energy was great. I thought we made things difficult uh, for Davidson to get into their offense. And, you know, I, I know they missed some shots that they normally are going to make. Uh, sometimes people just have those days. Um, but I'd like to think our energy and defense and, and scheme, I, I thought our, our staff has been tremendous here with uh, w- with their preparation and, the, and their scouting reports and, and um, individual player development, I think, is, is really you're seeing a lot of the benefits of that right now. And um, just really happy with, with how we played. And I think for so many reasons, um, you know, we can go up the stat sheet uh, and go up and down everything. But I, I thought our kids just really came out and, and played hard today and, and really played well. Talk about your interior defense. You played some zone. You had some people helping, drop back. You played some man. You did everything to make it tough for a 33. Yeah, and, and they've got some really, really good players over there, you know, and um, – you know, some of that was some really good individual defense. I thought, I thought collectively as a team, our help was really, really good today. We had some pretty good ball pressure. You know, I think we, we played their tendencies. Uh, I think pretty well to hold a team to under twenty eight percent shooting in each of those four quarters, twenty six point nine for the game. Again, some of that we've all had those days, man. Like as a coach, you just have those games where it just isn't isn't your day. The ball doesn't go in. Um, but just really proud of. of Again, I, I keep saying this, the energy, but I, I really think our players have, have really brought it here as of late. You told us last week that you don't look at the standings, <laughs> but if you did, you would see that this team was basically directly in front of you and had was 5-4. and four. So this was a monster win for the yeah. last half of the season. Maybe, maybe peaked at the standings enough to, to maybe have a, a, an inkling uh, as to the importance of this game. They're all important, um, but I think for whatever it's worth, and this you know this is way too early for this, but you kind of knew that that was the only other team out there that was going to be with you as far as number of games. You know, as, as long as nobody gets any more games canceled, um, you know, I think we're we're going to end up with the same number of games. So I thought this was an important tiebreaker if it comes down to us and Davidson. But but so much of this right now, Rick, is, is still just playing well. I, I, again, when you when you play as complete a game as um, as we did today, I think that's the the takeaway for today is is how well we're playing, the movement, how well our kids are playing together, the defense, the offense, all of that. If we continue to do that, we'll be playing well at the end, which is way more important than, than the standings. You know, and I think. You know, I, I think that conference regular season championship probably is is gone away. You know, I think there's a couple teams up there that have maybe distanced themselves. But the flip side of that is, you want to get the highest seed that you can. You want to be playing well, but I, there's there's a lot of jumbled mess in there right now. So you can sit here and say the three seed is this, but you know, is that that, that may be a game and a half difference between that and the ten seed. So, again, you, you want to get yourself up there, but I think for us right now, we've had some games taken away from us uh, that, that we're not playing. We've had some games that maybe we had a chance to win that, that we didn't get to win. Our backs have been against the wall, and I think our kids know that. I'm still probably upset about some games that have been taken from us, uh, and I think that's translated into some really good basketball for them. Some of your injured players started making their way back into the rotations. How's that going to look the last four games coming up? <laughs> Honestly, it, it, it's it's great, um, but the honestly part is it, it, there's still a task right now of trying to get everybody back into that rotation and figure out which rotation it's. You know, I think we've had a couple spots here this year. You know, coming out of that Navy tournament, I thought we were really really playing well. All of a sudden, a key a key part of it, especially as Maggie was really kind of transcending and, and getting to be a really really big time player for us, she goes down with an injury. You know, I think we kind of we saw that a little bit with Amelia. You know, kind of had some injuries there for a while with Kayla going down. So to get those guys back, you saw Kylie, Kylie back out on the floor today. You know, it's a good problem to have, um, but but it's going to try to figure out some things with our rotation. But I just think it it gives us some depth. It makes practices more enjoyable, uh, more competitive, uh, and everybody's feeling good right now. And and everybody contributed today. Um, you know, but what you guys don't see is how much everybody is really contributing, and everybody's just getting better in practice. And that's a credit to our staff, uh, but also to, number one, a credit to to the the mindset that our players have right now. So yeah, and then you last you also had a season low ten turnovers. Yeah. So how does that feel, you know, breaking through, through practices and how does it feel to 
finally see that it's kind of coming yeah because it's something that we haven't overly talked about you know i think we all know that we've had some some bad turnover games and weirdly some of our high turnover games has been our best offensive games. some of our low turnover games have been our worst offensive games I, I thought this was the most complete with that as far as ball movement getting easy shots but also not turning the basketball over and um, you know it was talked about uh, during maybe a couple of those timeouts i think we were you know we were at seven for a while and then we were at nine you know to end at 10 and, and we can probably go back and maybe find a few that you know i think i think maggie's still upset about her travel i think uh, katie's still upset about her travel um, but i thought we really took care of the basketball especially when they upped the pressure there at the end look ahead to wednesday night this three game homestand could vault you into the last half of the season last quarter of the season yeah, and, and you know the the little bit that that you know of of St. Louis right now, they're playing really well. I think they've won five games in a row. Um, you know, even going back earlier in the season and early in the conference season, watching them play even before they went on this run, I told our staff like that that's a really good basketball team over there. You know, and they're they're not even record wise up where they're supposed to be, but they're a really good team. And now you kind of see water finding its level to a certain extent with some of these teams. And you know, that's gonna be a tall. I say a tall order, no pun intended, with uh, with Brooke Flowers, but I think she's always given us uh, a load of trouble, um, you know. And they've got some maybe a little more potent scoring uh, right now with some of the transfers that they have coming in, you know. So it's it's going to be a, a huge task for us. Um, you can't carry everything from what you had today into Wednesday, um, but like I said, I like the vibe that we're playing with right now. I like how well we're playing together uh, on both ends of the floor.